Hey everyone, want to do a really quick update. So it's been a busy weekend, been doing a lot of work on the home solar setup. Uh, so as you can see, I have my batteries all lined up, how that they're gonna go. Each one of the Vatcher batteries I did open up. There was a small fix that I wanted to do to each one. Uh, so I have a video on that, but have them next to the EcoWorthy. Everything's all lined up and uh, ready now to start cabling to each EG4. So you'll see two rows of Vatcher batteries and one EcoWorthy is going to go to each EG4 12,000 XP. Have a total of uh, six bus bars, two for each, and they will all be connected. So it'll be one big bank. I'll have T-class fuses uh, between each row of these and the EcoWorthies as they attach to the bus bars and then from the bus bar to the EG4 will be another T-class fuse and then I'll have uh, each one of these bus bars and I'm making them from scratch. They're going to be uh, copper bus bars, um, essentially two inches wide, six inches long and a half inch thick. Uh, the bus bars will be able to hold uh, roughly 1,350 watt or 1,350 amps, so uh, plenty for what I'm trying to do. And then it's all going to combine together, go into uh, this box here. Three uh, 80 amp breakers will be up there. Each one of these will connect into it. And then the output here will then go to the house. It will go to a transfer switch. I'm using a manual one, and uh, it's actually sitting uh, right here. Uh, the manual transfer switch is going to have um, a uh, fuse inside of it, so it will have G-class fuses on, on both hots, and that should definitely give me some extra protection. And then I have some other things on the way, uh, to even up my safety even more. So let me know how this looks. Um, I'm kind of happy with it. This is what I envisioned in my head. So let me know your thoughts. That's it. Thanks again for watching. Mike's Garage.